Heavenly Father, bless those that have joined us tonight to address the many business matters that come before this group. Come on in. Hi, how you doing? I didn't meet you per se, but uh, I was here at the meeting. Yeah, my, at the meeting. my name's Craig. 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 Good to meet you. You said Fred? Fred. That's yeah. me. What's your name again, Craig? Craig, yes. All right, have a seat. Thank Come you. On. Appreciate it. What's going on? And I'm oh. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, if you have. <laughs> you do what I do. Yeah. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give me a sign. What's up everyone? This is Craig with FAQ The Madness. This video has us in the town of Pine Tops where I currently live. I discovered that they have a town hall meeting the first Tuesday of every month and I decided that I was going. The town of Pine Tops has its town hall and police department in the same building. Their meetings are, I think, at seven o'clock. We'll go through my attendance of that meeting and the discovery that I had of a particular problem that, that the town of Pine Tops has, which piqued my interest. And I decided to meet with the town administrator um, a few days later. Join me while we take a look at my interaction with government officials in the town of Pine Tops, North Carolina. We hope that the decisions made and the actions taken will be pleasing in your sight and to our citizens as well. All this we ask in your name. Amen. Please stand and say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Yes, we're going to be right <laughs> All right, uh, we will begin with the proposed agenda. I guess everyone has seen the agenda. Do we have a motion to accept the uh, proposed agenda? I make a motion. Do we have a second? Second. We have a motion and a second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Ayes have it. Motion carried. Next, we have the consent agenda. We need to approve the minutes of the August 1st, 2023. Uh, public hearing and the minutes. Do we have a motion? That we accept the minutes. And do we, do we have a motion and a second? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Ayes have it. Motion carried. Uh, right now we'd like to welcome our guest. Uh, anyone? Has, oh. <laughs> what are you doing? Uh, if you have. <laughs> you do what I do. Yeah. <laughs> I don't do anything. I just. Don't what? <laughs> Do we have any public comments from anyone listening in? Okay, if not. Yeah, I know. I think someone was there about dead or something. Everything that was in the Centennial House was moved out and it's down at the uh, town shop. A list of everything. Yeah. No, the, the list is all inclusive. There's someone living in the Centennial House. Right. Well, I know we had to get yeah. stuff out, but could she, could she look through? Stuff to see. Yeah, so that's all, that, that that's all over. Yeah. Did all she say course. what it was? It's kind of, I think she said it was some pictures of him or something. Oh, I didn't see any mm. pictures. Oh, right over an article or something she said. It was something to that nature. Uh, those on two pallets, right? Pulled all that off, and that's what we've got over there. It's mostly all furniture, nothing personalized. I'll call the most personalized. I can go over there a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right. I know there was a the calendar. I think that's all. If you find any more, let me know, because that okay. should be it. Okay. All right. Okay. Or if there's nothing else, uh, we will move on to our departmental report. Uh, Chief Harrell, this report. Are y'all clear? Are y'all
I just told him with as much as it has gone through or as many hands as it's got to go through, then I suggest that they get their attorney to take you off. Because no need of us trying to get it. He's going to shut the door. But hopefully we're good on that one. Um, a couple of some other things on here. Uh, as you might know, I think some of you were here talking about this. Uh, we are trying to make an assault. I don't know if that's the best word, but on our dilapidated buildings in town, uh, the ones that are falling apart and roofs caving in and high floors. And, uh, so uh, we had sort of uh, again I'll call it an assault last month where myself and the attorney we went out and and really looked at the worst places, you know, they were really in bad shape, and we collected a number of them, a uh, total of about 10, uh, 20 total, some of them were minor and others were really bad structures. And we sent out uh, notices on its own record and uh, trying to get that moving forward to really take care of these uh, uh, dilapidated and run-down structures in town. The town has done a lot on this in the last couple of years even. Uh, <coughs> they, they recur. They recur, and believe me, Pine Top is not alone in this. Every time I've been in this spot, uh, and they've been very, very, very good at tracking. But again, we're doing it again, and just wanted you to know that we did a, a major mailing over this last month even uh, to try and uh, notify the people. We've already got some response to that. That's uh, fine. So we're moving on that. And about 10 of what I call dilapidated, meaning the buildings are actually structurally falling apart. And then the others are more severe things, severe, severe nuisance type issues. There's lots of clutter in your yard uh, and uh, just very unsightly. Some places, you know, the structure may be good, but it's almost like a jungle has grown up around it. So those type of things too. So uh, we've probably did a lot, and I will. I'll, I'll give you the term dilapidated. Mm. Does that mean it's uninhabited as well? Yeah, most important thing, I guess, a good point which I didn't mention here either, is we're targeting places now where people are not living. Even if there are some places, of course, that some people just have to be living, uh, even if they are all over there. We're not attacking those right now uh, for the people and also because they are one of the more difficult situations. So these are places that are another term to attach to that would be abandoned. Uh, that is for the, the dilapidated, meaning the broken down, uh, structurally uh, sacrificed places. The uh, the other ones with the clutter and the nuisance, there usually is someone there, and they can do something about it. But, uh, that's the issue with them. but yeah, the, the buildings that are in bad shape there are abandoned structures. Uh, about, well, there's probably more. We decided to kind of limit it. Uh, our attorney suggested, and I would agree from what I've done in the past, let's take like 10, really the real worst, focus on those right now, and move forward. So right now there's like there's 10 of the dilapidated or abandoned structurally insufficient buildings. And then we had like, probably there's more like eight of the very bad nuisance areas the jumps outside. There are two different issues. Yes, and there are two different laws, and that's why it gets more complex in handling these, because when you send out the letters, you've got to cite the proper law. The nuisance is different from the totally uh, abandoned. abandoned and unsafe structures. And then there's even other junkyards, as we know we talked about that in the past. That is another law that helps out on that one. And sometimes you can uh, leverage a few different laws on one different problem. So, how many letters went out? Letters went out for the how broke, many? How many? The total. It didn't matter what it was. Oh, total, total. But for this last, I call it assault. Probably about eighteen. That's wonderful. Yeah, that's good. Yep. And they're all certified letters, so wait and make sure the cards come in and get back.
you have a good one, ma'am. Thank you, you too. How you doing? I was uh, here for the, what, what was the meeting, that town hall meeting, uh-huh. that it was? Uh-huh. And they talked about uh, the uh, dilapidated uh, buildings that are around uh-huh. there. I was wanting to do like a public records request for some of that information. Okay. Do, and do, do you all have like, do you all have like a, like a specific person that handles public records in general? Or is it per building? No, it, no, it was this year. Okay. They normally haven't had that many. I don't think they've had the one since I have been here. Right, right. Okay. Sure, sure, no problem. Thank you. Yes, sir. Come on in. Hi, how you doing? I didn't meet you per se, but uh, I was here at the meeting. Yeah, my, at the meeting my name's Craig. Craig. Fred. Good to meet you. You said Fred? Fred. Glad yeah. to meet you. What's your name again, Craig? Craig, yes. All right, have a seat. Thank Come you. On. Appreciate it. What's going on? And I'm not necessarily, uh, I'm just documenting my process, but uh, if you don't sure. have, you have a problem being on uh, camera. No, 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 go ahead. Absolutely. I was uh, interested in the... Um, in the properties that you were talking about, the dilapidated uh, properties. Yeah. So I was wondering if I could get a if I could do a public request, but I kind of want to just clarify what it is I'm looking for specifically. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Um, you mentioned that you had like what between like ten and twenty, maybe eighteen, I think you said. Yeah. Properties. You, thank you for hearing me. Yeah, because it was kind of like if some came back, so about eighteen is probably the better number. Yeah. Okay. And those properties have structures on them, correct? Uh, except maybe for one. We have, we also have a problem with not only structures, remember I mentioned there were two types. One is, um, the structures are falling down and they're, I call them dilapidated. Okay, okay. Uh, and, uh, then we have nuisance issues. Okay. Where overgrown grass is overgrown or shrubs are like invading the house. Sure. And then we have rules against that. Okay, so I, so I so live... So we have one piece of this, just a piece. Some We have, I think, two that are just land. Mm-hmm. That people. A good example is right beside Dollar General. You'll see a big field there. Right. And it's grown up. Okay. Right on Hamlet Street. So, so do you, we wind up cutting that every once in a while on our own. You, you the city does? The, yeah, and we're not, when we do that to make it look nice. But So we cite those people. There are people that have bought land in town, I presume. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you go away, I may even have done it in that. Yeah. And they just don't think to come and take care of it. So we sent them letters saying you have to do this and that. Okay. So there are maybe one, there may be two which are blank pieces of land. Sure. But most of them, all of them pretty much have houses on which is which turns out to be what they sectioned off for our property and separated it from there. But there's a piece of land, a significant piece of land there well, that's overgrown. Yeah. Um, so when I first when we first got here, I was interested in it because it's, it's directly behind us. Um, so, yeah, um, but but that you brought it up kind of interests me in general and the properties. I wanted to take a yeah, take a look at them. Yeah, so. and if, I think you know, if you want a list, actually, you might remember one of the board members asked of me to pass around the board. And if you want that, obviously, it's I'll do okay. that. Well, I, so, I mean, there are a lot of reasons why I, I have a desire to kind of start from the ground level within the city that I live in. Um, something I've never done in my lifetime. Oh, but wow. that you guys open up to the public, you know, to let us kind of yeah, kind of dig in yeah, and what most of our info is, and this is there's uh, tax records and things like that are public. So okay. I don't see any problem with that at all. Now, um, the other thing that I was curious about, so, and I've just started looking at uh, what would be the public records laws here in North Carolina. Yeah, I, I'm, they change from state. Just so you know, I've worked in a number of different states, and it's different. There's differences. There's more similarities than differences. Yeah. There's definitely differences in state law. But it really seems like. I mean, by design, it seems as though North Carolina has decided to make it quite open for people. But, like, I have a, a question, for example. If I wanted to 
search something or get a public records on so, so on on an entity or or a, an agency, for example, if I came to you and put in my request, but it wasn't the proper agency, would you direct it to the to the proper? Or do I have to go actually to that? No, that you'd it, have to go to that place. Okay, which is different than some so some places where you, I haven't been in the state where that was the case, but yeah, no, usually uh, all public entities, as you as you recognize, uh -huh. most of the records are going to be public. Okay. The, uh, but you have to go to the respective entity. Like, if you wanted something from Pine Tops, right? You come here. Okay. If you wanted something from the county, you have to go to the county. Okay. If you okay. Borough, you'd have to go to the town of the town of Tarboro's sure. own office, just like here. Okay. All right. Yeah. So then, I guess uh, well, the good thing is the, the, the laws are the same. I think between the county and the city, there may be some slight differences. Right. But uh, not much. Or obviously, any like federal is going to be way different. Oh, federal. <laughs> it's like yeah. a whole different. And I mean, to tell you the truth, I don't even know. Uh, uh, well, we've all heard the, on the news how big news organizations were put in for you know records and things mm -hmm. from the federal government and. Um, they, I think they have more ways of getting around it than the state. Sure. Well, so my, my mother has dementia. She lives in Indiana. And uh, I just started getting involved with, like, taking care of her affairs. But I went to the SSA building, Social Security Administration. Yeah. And they have signs posted that say you can't photo photograph in the building. Yeah. I think for understandable reasons. But they say for news purposes that you're allowed to do so, like, in the foyers, lobbies, etc. But they... And their policy said that you can audio record your own interview, but they they kind of parlay that that policy into prohibiting for the building in general. So it's just been something that I've kind of been interested. Oh, the laws are yeah, it's, it is for sure. All right, so so I think that I will formulate yeah, my organization. Do and, and you're right. Most things are going to be public. Uh, the only things I can think of really are usually not are personnel files. Um, and and then there are some exceptions to that. If someone happens to have gotten fired for it's you know doing bad things with public funds, sure, that becomes public, I believe, in that case. Right. Um, but in general, those aren't. Uh, the other thing is, attorney-client privilege still applies. Right. So like our communication between the attorneys. Yes. But a lot of that can be you know if it becomes something, it's not going to be uh, damaging in certain ways to the reputation of the lady. And those can be. Yeah. Oh, as you probably you, you looked at the record thing. Yeah. And North Carolina, I'm just starting though. So. <laughs> yeah, but from what I can see, I've been in four different states. North Carolina is, um, it's it's somewhere in the middle. It's yeah. Good. Some states is way open. Like I managed in Massachusetts a while, and there there's a lot more open. Almost everything is open there. Even non-public meetings, there's m there's a lot fewer you can do there than here. Okay. Uh, so it does definitely depends on the state. Sure. But North Carolina is pretty, it's it's either, either on the highs or the medium. Yeah, for sure. My the states I've worked in. Okay. Well, so uh, and the other thing last is, and then I'll formulate I guess my, what will be my request. Uh, yeah. Uh, if you want the records are there, you don't have to waste time. I'll give you the, the addresses and things. I'll, okay. I'll give you the same as I'm going to give to. The council okay, all right. Yeah. Well, and you mentioned also, um, you mentioned that you sent a letter. I don't know if you would have a template letter because I don't want to specifically want to. We have who, a template letter, yes. Uh, okay, and then I would, because I'm interested in the ordinance it. that you, you mentioned that you included the ordinances for, that that, that apply for yeah, the property. And yeah, we have the attorney write those up and so like in the, in the uh, actually, <laughs> you know, here. And I appreciate you, you engaging yeah, me, I appreciate it. <laughs> And the couple here, I just may have to ask the attorney to make sure. But okay. like for example, that's a basic uh, letter there that we send for nuisances. And okay. Now, again, that'll be overgrown grad notice, and we usually just list a general like that. I think says grad. Yeah. And it says miscellaneous, miscellaneous junk. And this says miscellaneous junk. Yeah. And you'd be surprised. Oh my God! Some of the places. Uh, there's a trailer park over here that I mean, you wouldn't believe driving through and all the stuff that's out there. And what what are your thoughts with regards to why they exist that way? It's just the uh, I mean, I, 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 it seems like there are a number of people who may have had land passed to them, et cetera. But is it yeah. is it that or beyond that in your I mind? I think it's, a, it's definitely a variety of reasons. Some had land passed, and this is the template for the damaged house. It's more of the that will become more that okay. dilapidated building. Mm -hmm. And I think he mentions a statute in each of those. And if he does, these are local ordinances mostly. Okay. Chapter 93 of the town code for this one. And I think that one has a slightly different one, um, 9304, it's a citing town code. 
And there are some only be citing um, state law, like some places have um, automobile violations, too many junk cars in there. Okay. In that case, there may be those. Okay. But that's a, these are basically the two I was talking about at the meeting. Okay. And okay. sent out about, I think, eight of one of these and ten of the others. Okay. And, the uh, You all record, you were, I, I guess the meeting was on Zoom. Yes. But does the public have access to the meeting in its entirety? The recordings and honestly, it was that I'll have to ask her because when I got here and I never did get a chance to ask yet, and we do record them, and as you might have noticed, sometimes we have a little trouble with them. And I uh, know we don't have the recordings up there. Okay. I'll ask her if she's been cataloged. I know they've got to be somewhere in our file because we do record them. Okay. The thing is, I don't know if we ever, you know, all this happened when COVID. I wasn't here during, I've been here about a year and four months now. Okay. So I wasn't here during COVID, but I presume like in most places, everyone kind of just jumped into Zoom yeah. during then. Sure. So I don't even know if we know how to retrieve them yet. But okay. If they're there, I think she did. All right. So, um, well, the last question with regards to the public record. So mm -hmm. I know, so I, I write something up. Mm -hmm. um, so if I, if I gave you an email, and there are documents, could you send them to my email? I believe you have no problem with, with that. Yeah. And if there was a, I mean, let's say yeah. there's a thousand documents, yeah. it could either, you could either get them to me that way, or I could pay for the amount to, to get that. Yeah. But and hold on a second, because Tammy's the clerk. Okay. I want to see how we've been doing Okay, all right. I want to just make sure how she's been doing it too. Okay. Because actually she's managing the state a lot, lot more than I Okay. So she can tell you for certain about that. Just how um, I, I don't use the Langer Press. I don't have any problem sending it in the email. Okay. Because uh, if it's a public record, you're usually not worried about it. Okay. Um, so I don't have one. And that, so it's a, it's a, uh, does that. it's a learning process for me, really. So well, it's fine. Um, yeah, I'll really just know. go through it. And if, I see that it's closed, but it, would it be okay for me to just uh, get a couple of uh, oh, images the in, in the yeah, council room? and if someone's not in there, we have them, uh, uh, the state's been using that room a couple of days a week for that, uh, the, they have this program where they, um, uh, they're they getting applications for the flights. Oh, okay. And so I think someone's in there today. Oh, they are, okay. Yeah, it looks, they wouldn't mind taking pictures. Okay, no problem. They're, not gonna see no, they're in here on Thursday and sometime Friday. Okay, all right. But I think that's it. Uh, yeah, well, can Tammy be here? I want to make sure to see how she's been doing it. Okay. And if she knows something I don't about the, uh, how we can hand them out. Sure, sure. So get my hands around it here too. So I, I'm, you can see probably I might be at the meetings more often than not. Yeah. But I mean, it was very interesting. Uh, you Are all. Are you new to town? Yes, yeah, sir. So we've because been. People have asked everyone. I don't know if you've lived in small towns before, but usually First everyone time. knows everyone. Yes. So I have most. I managed a lot of smaller towns, and everyone was going. You know, a couple new people are in there. Not only you. Who's that? Who's yeah. Because yeah, everyone knows everyone. Well, everyone we've been knows. here for three years now. Oh. Never really had. I mean, so my. Get involved. Yeah, my fiance. Um, she takes care of most of the bills. When I mean, when I say bills, she does it. It's out of sight, out of mind. I didn't even know about the increase in water. That, for example. Mm. Um, but. Uh, that you all explained very well how that goes, um, but I, like I said, I had the the interaction with the SSA, and then I began thinking, how would I request information? Uh, yeah, well, it's a lot easier. And it's been like it's been. I submitted my request originally to the SSA in May, and they acknowledged that they received it, but there hasn't been any response since then. Mm. It's a bigger entity, I understand, but I would feel like there's a there's a there should be a way that they would make it a little bit more accessible, which it's not. <laughs> I can't even get through the barriers, meaning even when I say, hey, I'm an official of the town, uh, it's tough for me to even get through and find who to contact in the federal government. Sure. It really is tough. Sure. Uh, states are tougher too, and you may know this, but usually uh, uh, the local government's going to be the easiest for you to get your info. Sure. Okay. Well, that's where we're starting. All right. Thank you. It looks like it's start. Can you see anyone in here? Yeah. No, no, it's empty. Okay, good. Yeah, sure. So I'll just take some images. Thank you.
I was in, I like this. Uh, that was when I first yeah, saw it because it said. I mean, yeah, that's a map. I think it's still pretty accurate. And you have the sign still up, so that's good. <laughs> It'll yeah, help. Yeah, you can see what it is. It does that. S sir, no. Uh, the, um, you know, uh, whatever you want, just submit it. Okay. Right okay. No, no, no standard form. No standard. We don't have. I mean, I can. No, sir. In the past, the only thing I've ever had them do is just, just put a letterhead. I mean, on the envelope, and then they would just write it on the envelope. Okay. And if you want it sent back in the email, as long as it ain't nothing confidential or anything like that, sure. Public record. Okay, perfect. That that then if you give me a piece of paper, I'll just sit down and uh, write it out. I mean, you. Don't, if I if I refer to, I don't have the specific property names, but if I refer to them as dilapidated uh, properties, yeah. you'll know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Well, I, 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 I will, I can keep you off, but uh, I mean, I, we're in public, right? So I, I'm, I would be respectful that you're asked that I'm not put you on there. I understand. Yeah. I mean, I, I wasn't. I think I had her on there because I was engaging with her directly. You may have been briefly on there, but uh, I don't really see any images of you on there per se. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, Appreciate it. Quick, yeah, for, for, for that one there, just and I would I know that I mean care, but uh, just in case I find one that's not or something, uh, I, if you just uh, have dilapidated properties and uh, nuisance violations. Uh, and so, uh, just out of curiosity, mm -hmm. in general, with regards to filming in public, I mean, what is it that you do? You all have like a specific policy with regards to that in know. general? I don't know if we do. We don't have a policy. Do you know if we have a policy for allowing people to film? Uh, uh, I haven't seen one. Yeah. And and uh, and to be honest, I'm not sure about the law here in the state on that. I have to check that out. I mean, so I mean, I I may put this on as as, as news with regards to this particular town, but like I said, I. I don't specifically put people on if they say they don't want to be like she indicated, but mm -hmm. um, but we're like I said we're in public, so I. I if yeah, and in that case, I would have to ask them that. Yeah, so. I'll, I'll get back to you on that. No problem. No problem at all. Good thing to know. Yeah, for sure. I mean, I don't have a problem with me, but yeah. we appreciate you. No, I think someone else. I could respect that. So I took a few moments and wrote out my public request, requesting the dilapidated properties or listing of the dilapidated properties that the town administrator had discovered, gave it to the town clerk, who was very cordial, by the way, didn't give me any problems. And as I mentioned before, the other person, there are only two people that work in the office, I've seen that person multiple times and I never had a camera, but this particular time I did have a camera and of course I made my request. And she did ask that I not put her on camera. Now I honor that request. Um, if you see that person in any of these, any of the portions of this video, it's for a very brief second and you can probably not even tell how, who she is. I plan on perfecting my process as it, as it relates to public records request. And so I figured it'd be better for me to make the experience of me being present in the town hall, you know, pleasant for her. Now, I do believe that we have the right to observe our government officials during the course of their duties. And my hope is that eventually she will become more accepting of anyone who comes in and video records like I plan on doing. I'd say that my experience was pretty decent. There were a number of issues with the request that I had 
they responded expeditiously. Any problems that I had, for example, um, downloading the Zoom meeting, they they got me into it with no problems. So I would say overall the experience was positive and it will certainly go towards making the experience of requesting any right, additional information from uh, federal buildings or federal a, entities such as the Social that Security that Administration like that? that much yeah, easier. Like a, just a date and time of, uh, I don't know, do you have a city of Pine Tops like stamp or something on the copy? Uh, that, that would be fine. Uh, just to, I don't think there's a specific time frame that uh, you all says that it has to be done by, just reasonable. So, <laughs> and you you mostly have it already. So, I most yeah, I haven't even gotten to the council guy. Uh, the council asked for yet. So oh, okay. What I'm doing for now is just compiling a names list. For okay. Each of them to go through. Sure. It thank you. Sounds like you want the individual letters. Yeah. Well, if, the, if you said they were templated, right? So. Yeah. If you what well, I've done for them is I've uh, I've made a page and I put all the names and addresses. Uh, and why they were violated on there. Sure. And it's a list. I, that will be fine. Okay. That will be fine. I'll give you that, and then if you want more. Okay. Well, you appreciate it. Seen the letter anyway. I did, yes. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Fred. Oh, I appreciate it. Nice to meet you. Any questions? Roger right that. Here. All right. You have a good one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for checking out my video. Please like and consider subscribing. I want to be the greatest. Everybody on the face shit. I look around and feel like everybody is the fakest. I make this every day and I'm impatient. Hoping one day I blow up from the basement. Statement, the top is so vacant. I don't hear shit that I think is amazing. Waiting for my day when I'm playing. Sold out shows for a thousand faces. Hey, give me that crown. Get in my way and you'll be put down. It ain't your place. All this my town. If I want that shit, then I'll get it right now. I'm losing it, the noose if it's some loose shit, a stupid myth. You choose to live or choose to dip, you choose to fight or lose your grip and lose a gift. Oh.